Hello, I'm Kevin Berger. As schools continue to face tighter budgets, programs deemed as luxuries are often the first to go, and unfortunately that sometimes includes music programs. Hopewell Music Cooperative is there to help students with free and reduced price music lessons and strengthening the community by promoting acceptance, cooperation, and pride within their students. Here to tell us more about Hopewell Music Cooperative is Executive Director Brianna Farah. Thanks for joining us today. Absolutely, thank you. Tell me a little bit about how Hopewell got its start and who you serve. Sure, so Hopewell Music was inspired by the need for accessible and affordable music education in this city. Um, the market rate for private lessons is $70 an hour. Not very many families can afford that. So by starting a nonprofit music school, we've been able to serve over 200 students um, in significantly reduced rate private lessons as well as ensembles that are free. What sort of music do they make? Sure, so we teach all styles of music, classical, jazz, contemporary, whatever the student wants to learn. But uh, our teachers are, are very classically trained and some teach Suzuki training. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And there's instruments. Absolutely. So we have an instrument rental program uh, that is also significantly reduced rates um, and based on the federal school, school lunch income guidelines, same with our lessons. So uh, the students who come for lessons, whether it's vocal or with instruments, in addition to learning how to make music, which of course is a lifelong gift, mm -hmm. but what character attributes, I guess, can be forged through music instruction? So many. <laughs> <laughs> You're a musician yourself. I am. Uh, I am. I'm a so, classically trained singer. Um, so you know. I do. I do. Uh, learning music instills discipline. Uh, you're learning confidence through performing and setting goals and reaching them each week with, uh, with your instructor. Um, we have goal setting uh, at each semester uh, with the students and parents and teachers. Um, there's so many studies that show the correlation between music education and academic achievement. Mm -hmm. um, but I get to see uh, these effects every day in our students when parents and teachers tell me about how their students are you know, being more confident in school or uh, signing up for more activities. Mm -hmm. um, it's, there's nothing more rewarding than watching our students grow and transform through the power of music. One of the things you mentioned is confidence, and I think that when you do perform in, in front of an audience, I think that can build confidence when, when you successfully achieve that. Do you have concerts, recitals? Uh, Absolutely. So one of the most important things about our music school is that we foster a community and support our students in that community. And one way that we do that is by offering multiple performance opportunities. So annually, we give over 30 concerts and events to mm -hmm. the community, um, and they're all free and open to the public. So uh, this sounds like uh, a program that is extraordinary in uh, its ability to reach students, but how do you pay for it? Yes, so our commitment to having and maintaining low fees for our students means that we need to bring in 70% of our budget from individual donors and grants. So we have a lot of support from our community and from donors um, and from grants. You, you mentioned that, that this the, the, the instructors, the students, the com that you form a community. Mm -hmm. What do you think that means to the students to be part of a larger in institution, I guess? Absolutely. So community, especially in North Minneapolis, but in any, any neighborhood, uh, gives our students a, a safe place to come and nurture and explore their, their talents and their potential. Having that support allows them the ability to go outside their comfort zones and try new things and meet new people that they might not meet otherwise. Mm -hmm. You're giving them a great gift. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us today to tell us about Hopewell. If you would like to learn more about Hopewell Music Cooperative, if you'd like to find out how you could attend a recital or volunteer or become a donor, you can visit their website. That's hopewellmusic.com. And that's it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Kevin Berger. Thanks for watching.